after you have loaded the data into the R and then set the data as, a, as an object, the next thing we can do is to explore the data set. So for example, this is the data set that we have uploaded in R. This data set consists of the marks of the exam of the student from two programs. So what we can do, actually, we can summarize the data. So just have a summary. And then we just type the name of the object again. And then click Run. So basically, this will summarize each of these variables. So first, we have the student ID. So they're going to summarize the student ID. Uh, this data set consists of 16 students. Okay. And belong to the two program and for first program we have seven students for the second program we have nine students at the same time some basic statistic of all the marks sometimes we might want to have a summary as a mark according to the program so before doing that we need to split this data into two different data set consists of the student mark of each of these program we can create a new object in R, which I call the marks. Maybe just for this program. It's a new object. And then I put the error, so it's a smaller or larger than, then followed by dash. Type subset. So we're going to subset the raw data, which is this one. So we can just type. So you're going to subset this data. based on the program, so we just type the program or you can just copy and then equal, so two equal sign two, then the open and close quotation mark and then type the name of the program then click run so you can observe a new object we're going to appear here Okay, so this is a new object that consists of seven observation and three variable. So you can click on the data set and examine the data. Okay, so this is your original data set and this is a subset of the data. So after that we can have a summary of this new object. So we only want the summary of the student marks for this program. You can click run then this other summary. So to create another subset is very easy. So you can just copy the entire script just now, paste, and then just replace the name of the new object. So I'm going to create a subset of the data for the second program. Okay, just change the variable. Then we can run the script again. Then the new subset is going to be created. And we can have a summary of the data as well. This few simple steps is help you to subset your data okay, while keeping the original data. But remember all this data set and the subset of the data are being kept in the R environment. So that means that after you close the R, then all this will be disappear. Okay, just like the calculator. In any case, if you save your R script, you always can get all the data and also subset all the data again by running all this script. Okay. As we have discussed in the previous video, we can examine the structure of the data. Okay. So here you can see there's a dollar sign. So in this data set, we have 16 observation, three variable. So this is the first variable, second variable, and the third variable. So we can explore each of these variables independently. If we type the name of the object directly, and then click Run, and then show you all the data. So let's say if I only want to work with the second variable, which is a program. So what I can do, I can type the object name again. Remember just now the dollar sign, so you can put the dollar sign. Drop down list of the variable will appear. Then you can choose 
to show only particular variable. So for example, if I want to show the mark, I can just show the mark. Okay. If I want to show the program, I can just put a dollar sign, click on the program, and then click run. So this is very useful when we want to make a graph. For example, now if I want to make a box plot, so I can just type box plot. I want to plot the marks according to the program. So what I need to do, I need to type the name of the object where I get the, all the marks. Against or according, so use this sign. So you can find this sign on your keyboard. So I want to plot this data, this mark, according to the program. So when I click run, the plot will be generated.